Hi, I'm Sue with Woman of Noble Character. I'd like to share with you briefly about the faith of Mary of Bethany. You can read the accompanying post to learn six surprising lessons we can learn from her. Mary of Bethany is one of the most beautiful characters in all of scripture, and her life has valuable lessons for us. Mary was the sister of Martha, and Lazarus was also raised from the dead by Jesus, her brother. Mary, in John 12, 1 through 8, is often confused with Mary Magdalene, and she's been misunderstood as a woman who was an adulteress, apparently because she showed her hair so boldly. However, it is the story of a woman of faith, and she put her entire life into doing what she believed would please God. She was deeply spiritual, knowing that Jesus would be sacrificing himself for others. Mary gave all that she had and devoted it all to Jesus at that moment. And for that, she is one of the greatest people of faith in the Bible. When we look at scripture, it's difficult to tell if Mary or Martha accompanied Jesus during his ministry throughout Galilee. What is certain, however, is that Christ regularly stayed in their home. There are several mentions of Jesus coming over or staying at their house in Bethany. Bethany is a small town in the Mount of Olives, just east and near Israel's capital, Jerusalem. It's the starting point for Christ's descent into the Holy City on Palm Sunday, as well as his return to this village during Holy Week and even after his resurrection. So you can understand why it is such an important town in biblical history. We can only guess the ages of these two sisters. Scripture shares no biographical data about them, no mention of their parents or other family, no mention of having been married or had any children. The only possible conclusion we can draw from the Gospels is that Mary and Martha were either unmarried or recently widowed. This is a huge departure from typical Jewish womanhood of that time, but the sisters remain pretty well off. It's clear from their ability to live independently as well as support Jesus's ministry. There is so much more to Mary of Bethany in the Bible, and I hope you'll check out the accompanying post to read more about her and learn six surprising lessons we can learn from her. In the meantime, have a beautiful, blessed day.